Welcome back y'all. This is Big Sky Diamond Painting here with yet another unboxing. This one is from Dreamer Designs. So I'm just gonna take the wrapping off. This one is much bigger than the last Dreamer Designs one that I got. Um, this is more in line with most of what Dreamer Designs has, I feel. Um, but they, I mean, they have a variety, but they, they definitely have leaned toward, more towards bigger ones lately, which seems to be kind of the trend. Um, it seems to be kind of the trend lately with the premium diamond painting companies because, as you know, the bigger the design, the better it's going to look. Um, before I show you what this one is, just real quick... German Designs box, has a handle, very sturdy, very nice box. So we're gonna, we're gonna look at that. So here it is, this one is called Poetic Light. It's a Michael Humphreys design from German Designs and it is 80 by 60 centimeters. So it's a big one. Um, honestly, for something like this, you could actually probably get a decent looking one in like a 20 by 30 or 30 by 40, but you wouldn't have any detail of much at all on the house. So, you know, I, I understand why they charted it the size they did. So I'm not going to complain too much about that. So the first thing we're going to do is just get everything out of the box. They put everything in the box inside this very nice reusable bag, which um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Dreamer Designs is probably the most extra. Okay, so um, Dreamer Designs sends their stuff in this reusable drawstring bag. It's made from like this paper cloth material it's very tough um you know it's it's very nice be good for like you know draw like taking your project to go um keeping things clean that kind of stuff if you don't want the bulk of a box um you know they it's it's technically reusable but honestly i have no use for it so i will get rid of it once i finish with the kit um, next, we will just dump everything out of here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That's no good. All right. One moment, please. Actually, it occurs to me, I don't know why I went to grab this, because the kit comes with... with trays, but... Huh, and these are, these are round diamonds, so this, what? Did they start doing round kits when I wasn't looking? Give me a second. Oh, these are definitely round drills. Oh, okay guys, um, and it's a round canvas. I think I may have missed some developments. But, I don't see anywhere on here where it says that this is a round. So, I'm going to proceed with this unboxing, as usual, and I will <laughs> check the website later. To see if this is intended, because I, I I can't imagine that it wasn't, and I probably just missed 
something. That was for sure a surprise because I was definitely under the impression that um, Dreamer Designs only, 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 only did squares and I was not aware that they had branched out. So um, as you can see, we're having a little, a little drill spillage problem over here. Um, that is something that occasionally happens. I'm not super worried about it. Uh, Dreamer Designs has the oops insurance um, or whatever they call it. So I, I don't really need to worry about it. Um, since this is a bigger canvas, it has self flattened much more easily than, than the smaller one that we looked at previously. So we're just gonna, we're gonna lay that out. Um, normally I would go over the canvas first, but we are going to take care of this, this drill problem. Oh my goodness, this is just got like a busted, completely busted drill ba bag in there, I'm betting. All right, so, all right, so first things we're going to do, actually, so that I can get baggies out, we're going to open the kit. Kit comes in this very nice, soft peach skin bag with satin drawstrings. You get two white Dreamer Designs trays. They're basic, but they're nice. They have branding. You get two clear pens. One has the brass tip. One has the plastic single placer tip. You get a three placer, a six placer, and a wide straightener. You get two pots of wax. You get two grips. Everything is geared towards being able to paint with two people. Um, you get a pair of very sharp tweezers. The really nice kind. They also are branded with Dreamer Designs on them. Very nice. Um, if I didn't have about a million of these, I'd be super excited. But pretty much every nice diamond painting company these days is is doing the nice tweezers. So this is what we're here for, is these baggies. They always give you enough baggies to kit up your painting completely. So we are going to very, very carefully Unfurl this. We're going to take these, put them in here. So that seems to be all the ones on the outside. Boy, I'm glad I left this one for my last video tonight because this is going to be interesting. Okay. So, let's see if we can figure out where this bad boy is coming from. All right, so we're going to try to. All right, it's none of these. I'm just going to try to take it out string by string. Until I find the culprit. Okay, none of those. I'm thinking... It might be that one, but... Okay, so slowly pulling out. All right, none of those.
Alright, if I'm lucky, it's actually none of these, and it's just some extra floating drills, but when have I ever been that lucky? Yet? Oh, there it is. There she is. Okay. We have a little tiny, tiny tear, and they're just pouring out, so we're going to... We're going to cut this offending 319 off, and we're going to get the, the other guys out of there. So we're going to put all these guys in here. And I apologize to you guys if you can hear the uh, the TV sounds coming from my in-laws room. Um, I don't know if that's loud enough to pick up on the camera, but I have to film out in the living room and sometimes they watch things very loudly because they're old. <laughs> okay, so we've got those. Let's just put this bag out of its misery. Right. And I don't, do I have a marker over here? That is, I do, okay. Just double check, 319 is number nine. Yep, okay. So, um, anyway, that, that happens from time to time, guys. I'm not gonna, this isn't something I'm gonna hold against Dreamer Design. See, it just probably caught on something and just got a little snag in there. So, um, because they put everything in this, we really didn't have much of an issue. And if I happen to run out of this color, I can contact them for more. Um, assuming this is supposed to be round. So we will find that out later. Okay, so disaster averted, baggies, bing, bing, boom. Okay, rest of the baggies are gonna go back in this little baggie and if I didn't already say it they always give you enough baggies for every single color I never use every single color but um, and that's the kit kits very nice very extra um, I, I, don't, I don't need a kit that nice but if you are just are you new to, if you're new to diamond painting or something it's it's a great start so um, yeah, okay, so I will say these are really nice drills. They're very, very, very nice round drills. So even though I'm a little bit taken aback by the fact that they're round drills, um, we are gonna forge ahead. So since I have it out, have them out already, um, we are gonna do the drills first. So there's 57 colors in this, and we're just gonna go through each one. Um, this is a really kind of nice landscape, so I'm not gonna spend a super lot of time on most of these colors. Um, I believe there are some ABs in here, so I'll stop and we can take a closer look at those. These are very nice drills. Um, it's not hard to get really nice round drills, but there's the 319s that I had to rebag. Um, it's, it, you know, a lot of places have pretty nice round drills, but these are very shiny. They are very good quality. You can tell just by looking at them. 
Um, Dreamer Designs never has oily drills or any of that kind of stuff to worry about. So, you know, you're paying a premium and you don't really have to worry about any of that stuff. Um, if you ever had an issue with something like that, if you contact them, um, I can pretty much guarantee that they will will do their best to make it right because you are spending kind of a lot of money on these. Um, this looks like this is going to be a big color, which makes sense. This is an ocean scene. Got nice, lots of like nice greens. I, I it, these aren't like exciting, bright colors or anything, but I do like them. Like it's they're they're very nice. Kind of it's kind of a nice color palette to work with. So got some nice like mauve. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fun a fun painting to work on when I actually do get around to working on it. Um whenever that may be. Because we all know that I have an incredible backlog of diamond paintings to work on and more on the way. My partner's really kind of really frustrated about that. I think he kind of hoped that when I stopped diamond painting during the pandemic that I was going to be done with diamond painting because he doesn't really like get crafty, crafty hobbies. Um, he's, you know, he's a video game guy, so he, he just doesn't get them. Oh, it looks like there's like four ABs in this. Nice. I'll, I'll go over the... So we have three random ABs out here. Like I said, 57 colors total. So we've got a white AB. We've got kind of this like lavender, I guess. It's kind of a pinky, pink lavender, but it's very nice. A pretty pink lavender. Um, if you don't know what ABs are, they are Aurora Borealis drills. They have an iridescent coating on them that makes them kind of stand out more. And it gives it just sort of that like iridescent shimmer. They look way more sparkly. We've got a few a few little orange ones. We have this pretty green. And then the rest of our are pretty kind of sorry for shaking the camera there guys. Muted muted color palette. So alright we're gonna I'm gonna put this pile of drills aside. Now we're going to spread out the canvas. Now this is a big one, so we're not going to be able to get it all in the, in the, in the frame. Um, I'll put the picture of what it's supposed to look like right here. And we'll talk about this canvas some. So first thing, comes with a inventory sticker. It's a little bit... Oh, I see they folded it at some point and then made a decision to roll it in with this instead of folding it. Um, I'm going to just leave it folded because it's already got a crease and it's not in too bad of a spot. So I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to end up putting this in the, the, the bag of drills just like that. But it's a sticker. Um, it peels. Well, maybe. Well, it is a sticker, but... Um, so it's got like a clear, it's almost like they, they ran it through it like a Xyron type machine. So, all right, so I will use, we'll save that, use it for my, my kidding up. Um, this, this bad boy's got 57 colors. So this is definitely going to be a Craftmates Lockables project because Craftmates Lockables has four rows of seven on each side. So you can fit like 56. So this one's actually gonna be even one more than can fit in there, but um, that's okay because I'm gonna get it in there. All right, so let's take a look at this gorgeous picture. I'm gonna just roll this back just a little bit more. Um, I will try to do like a full shot of this at the end but um, I got this one because I'm a sucker for like these these like oceanside 
view type things where they're, you know, there's like a water and there's like a pretty, a pretty sky and a lighthouse. And there's going to be some great detail in that lighthouse in that house. And, you know, there's some, there's some trees over here and some water and there's like flowers down in the front, like where you can see here. So it's, it's going to be really nice. Um, you can see it's around. There's, there's no training wheels. They just have the slightly, um, lighter color in the middle in the shape of the circle. So you won't have any peek through of training wheels or anything like that. The glue is plenty sticky. Um, you know, we shouldn't have any issues there. It's poured glue, so you don't have to worry about wrinkles or divots or anything like that. And overall, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this one. Even though it's round and I was not expecting it to be round. Um, still pretty confused about that one, to be honest with you guys. But I will, I will research that a little bit and, and come back later to to talk about it, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I am unexpectedly left a little bit speechless just because I am so like shocked between the, the busted drill bag and this not being what I expected, but I am happy with it. So I don't want you to think like I'm not happy with it. This is gonna turn out gorgeous and it's gigantic, um, but it's not so gigantic that I'm like super, super worried about it or anything. Like I think, I think this is going to be a good, a good project. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you'll leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you are excited to work on something like this, um, if you've got a, a dreamer designs that you want to work on, let me know, um, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I've got tons of unboxings coming up still. Um, and that's not even including the, the stuff that I just bought on Brock Friday. So uh, go ahead and do that. Hit the notifications button if you want to be notified when I upload a video. I will catch all of you later. And bye-bye.